hello friends in this video we are going to learn css fonts so we are going to learn each and property of the fonts so let's begin with it okay so let's go to the code editor and here we have defining the p tag or you can make it like any any tag you want so i'm going to add the all font family over here right so i'm going to the style sheet and here i'm going to use first font property is going to be font size add larger smaller medium larger smaller medium this smaller you can add okay. so let's see smaller would be like this okay if i'm going to add here another font font size would be like uh, font size be like uh, you can add in a percentage also i'm going to add 200 percent so let's see the font size would be 200 percent so you can also add the pixels so you can also do in the pixels also 20 pixels okay so here are the pixels 20 pixels you can also size uh, you can add also the size in the em so if i'm going to add one em and it's see it is one em it is gonna be two em right now so how it is double that so it will take the current uh, it will take the double font size of that current font right so font size you can add in the pixels if i'm going to add 30 pixels next property let's move to the next property that is font family which family that you are going to use it so this is the font family like the you know style you can see Okay, after that font family we have font weight like it, whether it is bold light lighter something like this you can add so it will take the boldness of that font weight is used for that and font variant you can add normal or small caps all the letters wanna be small caps or what you can add over here small caps or what else we have small caps all caps, calci, unset, initial, var, variable you can use. Okay. So next we have uh, font font display display. So whether you want to at calci 100 minus 20 okay, so here you, you can calculate the which font you can display right In the uh, font size font weight font family font variant font file is done font uh, stretch And use normal semi condensed. Let's see what it is. Font stretches. This is the one. Let's check. If this is, you will get the option wider. The wider one. So now we are going to add another property font this is the main font size font family font weight font variant these are the basic one okay the rest uh, that is the different one that we have font variant caps font weighted position this is the web kit flow into safari it will use font variant maric now, this is the main main one that font variant of is the font that that we are using right okay so this is the, about the fonts so if i miss something that you can add it on but the, this is the major one that we are doing for the styling any of the text field right otherwise we have another one options like whether you want to align the text text align center you can add 
right here you can add text line you imagine line text you will be like this or you can add a text transform text text transform you can add for like capitalize or uppercase here so i'm going to add transport uppercase so it will going to be at the all uppercase letters if i'm going to add to capitalize so here it will add all the capital letters right so if i want to add another one because font variant is already added so I'm, if i'm going to comment this and this one and if I'm going to add here, capitalize, capitalize. So see what is going on. See. Hello everyone. First letter of H, Inky is capital right now. Okay. And add text for in text line, text transform, text decoration. That wanna be like this. Like it will add like. Well, that is not text decoration. Is underlined for the anchor tag. This is not required. So let's text shadow. If you want to add the shadow, you can add the shadow like dark blue. That is for the text shadow. Color is not added. Text preparation. You want to add this text shadow. Text color here. Text decoration color. You can add the color only. Color. I'll dark blue. Okay, so let's check. Dark blue. With shadow. Shadow I'm gonna to add. Uh, I'm going to drag here green. And text properties only the text transform text alignment text indenting and add most of text indenting specify the indentation of the apply to the lines of the indent block how much indenting you and what you want like indenting you can add 20 pixels so it take the margin you can say indenting take like 30 pixels so from the center it will take 30 pixel to shift right okay so this is the property of the text and uh, anything else underline text decoration text decoration underline you can add so then i'm adding the text decoration underline properties that you can use mostly use property to enhance the text alignment and text something so i hope you will like this video thank you so much uh, if you do if you like the video please do like and share it and do the comment if you like okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day